Hey friends. Welcome in. I think today's Thursday. 125 24. Which means we're almost through the week. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Mr. V, congrats on getting first. No, uncontested. An uncontested first. Nobody even wanted to place today. 28 days, 23 hours until save and raid. Four. Follow the free man. And we have $40 up on the ticker uh, raising money for Catesio to uh, uh, get, a, get a plane ticket to come here to do land party stuff and play Descent. I should have named that something clever like Catesio's Descent into Madness or something. Catesio's Descent into PDX Portland Airport. More like it. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Unlock my phone here. Oh, I locked. Okay. I think today's game, we're going for a treat today. Shit, there's the earring I was looking for. Oh, well. Today's game seems like it might be a bit of a treat. I've never heard of it. I bought it on GOG a while back. Um, and honestly, it looks kind of fucking rad. Um, after, fi after firing up the menu, you literally fire at the menu. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, I was lazy today. Well, I wasn't really lazy. I just didn't feel like installing it on an old machine, so we're just gonna play the GOG version. It'll probably work just fine. <clears throat> we'll see. I was messing around with some other stuff, uh, either this morning or last night, trying to figure out what version of Outcast I want to play come March. Also, Outcast, the second Outcast game is coming in March, March 15th, so I don't think we're gonna get through it by launch day, but I'm really excited about it. I was I was actually thinking about pre-ordering its collector's edition, but turns out the only place in the entire world that very specifically the PC version of the collector's edition is not available in the US. Just the US. PC collector's edition available all throughout fucking Europe. Uh, but not the US. That is uh that's happening a lot, actually, with European releases. I don't know why. Stalkers like that, all the Metro games have been like that. Um, and probably a ton of other things that I'm just not aware of. But that irritates me, kind of greatly. Because I'd be willing to do that. Outcast looks fucking awesome. I mean, who knows? It could be a shit game, but I kind of want the collector's edition. Uh, but it's only available, and the thing is, it's not like it's not available at all. It's available for the PS5 and the Xbox, whatever the new Xbox is. I kind of, I don't... I haven't paid attention to their silly naming conventions since the 360, I'll be honest. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you what the difference is between the last three generations of Xbox. They all seem to play the exact same games. Is that true? Do they actually all play the same games? <clears throat> I think it's just more power. It's not like the PS... Does the PS5 play PS4 games? Did I... Did I... Is that something I knew and forgot? I'm going down a memory rabbit hole right now. It's okay. We can get out of it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we got... We got kind of a cool looking game today. I, I think it's going to be an FPS of some kind. I'll be honest. Oh, I'm pretty excited about it. So, we're just going to jump into that. Usually it's Europe missing out on special editions or even physical editions. You know, and you, I, once I said that, I was thinking, you know, that probably is a thing. Um, but also, but I'm also not in Europe trying to collect them, so I'd be kind of blind to that. Um, but you're, you're probably right. It just seems all the games that are interesting to me are not available in the U.S. Or, well, the collector's editions. Um, because I like, I like Eurojank stuff. That's just, that's what I like. Um, I don't care about collector's editions of Call of Duty, right? We're, ton we're full of those. Or whatever, whatever it is. Whatever the popular games are. Uh, but yeah. Let's dive into this. I don't really have anything else. Other than we didn't win, we did not win, uh, um, uh, trivia last night. I know, because everybody was waiting to hear if we won trivia. We did not win trivia last night. We did not get last. 
But we didn't win. If it released a month, er month earlier. I saw that it was available in the Netherlands, interestingly. The thing is, is I don't really want a box that isn't in English, so I'd rather get it from somebody in the UK. Um, and when I went to Amazon UK, it said out of stock, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, they did say that there was a limited number of like 1,500 or 15,000, so they could all be gone. Well, today's the pre-order. Today's the day that the pre-order went up, isn't it? Maybe I'll keep checking throughout the week. Um. <clears throat> Boxes are often in English there. Fair. I don't know how they're distributing the game either, if it's through Steam or what. Um, I know that... Uh, let, me, let me do this so we can all see it. Okay. Uh, uh, what do I do here? We're gonna, we're gonna get distracted, it's fine. A new beginning. A Delpha edition PC, okay. Uh, Outcast website. Whatever. Store. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh, okay. here yeah because see it's just available here for the ps5 and xbox x hey spellcross welcome it nice nice emotes it's got this cute little statue of a little whatchamacallit in it i don't know i like it i want it it looks neat uh three audio three audio cd soundtracks this is a three parts soundtrack on cd that's interesting uh it's nice box steel case uh, but, like, if you look back here, you can see it. There's the PS5, there's the Xbox Series X, and then there's the PC version. Just not for Americans. Um, this thing does not look small, though. It doesn't look small at all. This looks about the size of my Horizon Zero Dawn Collector's Edition. This ship's international. So what if we change... Currency to like UK or something. I wonder if that's actually. I don't understand what these currencies are that are two digits. Let's okay. Let's go look at Europe here. Everyone learns English in primary school, German. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that I have boxes in my collection that are not in English. Um, which is fine. I would just mother, much rather have it in English because that's the language I speak. 5,000 is what it's limited to here. So this one for PC, you can add to the cart. Yeah, see? I don't know. Language is full German, English, Chinese simp. Simp oh simplified Chinese. <laughs> Chinese simp. What what? Um limited to five thousand worldwide. But for each version, they have different art on them. Like they got the logos, right? Um Did this oh in the U.S. store, it said ships internationally. Did y'all see that? There's a lot of really fucking ugly logos on this box. I guess the other option is to try snagging on eBay for four times the price later. Do they pay more upfront for those? What do you mean, Spellcross? For the covers. <clears throat> <sighs> it's 
It's not the most exciting collector's edition, I guess. I'm trying to talk myself out of it, right? Like, it's got a cool little statue. Um, it's got a soundtrack, it's got a steel case, it's got an art book. Like, it's pretty standard stuff. Not technically $200 worth of cool stuff. Unlike, unlike, say... This one, I think I'm actually going to be picking up. Uh, if they're still available. Just... It's a stupid question. I It just went over my head. It just went over my head. Uh, so this one's actually cheaper, and you get way more cool stuff. Um, the Homeworld uh, 3 Collector's Edition uh, comes with like a bunch of little physical ships on stands and stuff. Uh, a card game, pens, and, you know, key ring. Or... Go all the Amazon here. Yeah. Looks like it's still available, too. When is this coming out? That's gotta be soon. Oh, this is also in March! Shit, okay. <clears throat> oh, for the stickers? Wow, yeah. Yeah, this is one I'm gonna pick up. Homeworlds, Homeworlds always fascinating. I need to play through the first two games, for sure. I think I want to stream those. That'll be, uh... It'll be interesting. Um, to, like, if we're gonna stream, like, the first RTS that I'm trying to beat, be, like, three-dimensional. Um, but this is a very reasonable price for all the cool stuff in it. Like, look at that model. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, oddly it is. I saw that too. I mean, it's it's Britain's penal colony, so I guess that's a thing, right? A little bit, a little bit of thing. Yeah, yeah. This is something I need to throw in the cart. It is. That's true. That's true. Okay. I think, I think it's time to jump into the game here. Let's switch the tag over to retro. It's very retro. 1994, even. That is a loud and uncomfortable noise. Y'all ready? I promise you're not. Fuck, that's loud. <laughs> New World Computing was also one of the logos over there on uh, Anvil of Dawn. I think it's exactly the same as if the day it came out, probably. Just maybe DOS box. Check this out, check this out. This is this is how you deal with a menu. You shoot it. Which is wonderful. This is hold on. No, 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 no. This is different menu music than the last time I launched it. Alright, hang tight. I think there's a random track in the menu each time you launch the game. It was way more, it was way more rocky before. <clears throat> I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, because I didn't start the game at all. But there was a rock song there. Mm -hmm. Ambush. 
I don't know. Unless unless the song changes. Joker and the Flash have high scores, did they? That's amazing. Yeah, they do. Oh, there's Goose. Hey, oh, okay. Here it is. This is what I heard in the menu. Yeah. That's what I wanted out of 1994. Gotta feel that. Makes me wonder what Unlimited would do. <clears throat> I know, that's real good, right? Ambush. <clears throat> we'll go with normal. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Joker and Flash, these are levels. Slash. And it wasn't... Flash, it was Slash. Joker. These are levels. Ambush. I think. Are they? Oh no, these are the call signs. Oh, you can't type your own call sign? Weird. Pre-recorded lines. Iceman. Crimson. Look at this. Blaster. Blade. Weasel, War Dog, Turbo, Zeus, Zero Hour. Oh, Spaz. That's a good one. It's true. Ghost. There's Gambit. Gambit. Maverick, Prophet. Bullet. Oh, I thought it said Gullet. Carnage. I don't know. What should I pick? Prophet did sound strong. I almost... Prophet. That was actually what I was leaning towards because I like the character from, you know, Crisis. Let's go with Prophet. Prophet, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, please select a game type. Single. <clears throat> This round of the Intergalactic Battle Circuit is brought to you by Unlimited Power Supply and John's Jr., home of the Flame Broiled Subsistence Burger. Remember, <laughs> if your kelp's being <clears throat> fried, hey, Samuel, you're welcome being in. deprived. Hello, and welcome to the opening round of the Interplanetary Battle Circuit. I'm your host, Rex Sweeney. <coughs> it is rumored Rex that a drink of water from the Oasis of the Prophets will bring one untold rewards. Our competitors hope that the legend is true, as Sikara plays host to the IBC. Let's go to Mel <clears throat> the Benevolent, the spiritual leader of the people of Sikara, as he addresses the competitors. The books of the sun tell us that if a man survives the challenges of the this desert, is good. he shall be rewarded. Today, six competitors challenge the desert, and as it is written, so shall it be done. <laughs> the champion of the desert shall become the sole supplier of water to our arid land. May the sun always shine down upon you. Which wow, competitor the will reap the good. rewards of the desert? <clears throat> You'll find out when we return to live coverage of the IBC. Please choose your corporate sponsor. This is amazing so far. <clears throat> New World Computing? That's the that's the publisher. Positronics, Gene, Gene, Genericor, Veritix, Unlimited Power Supply, Warp Speed Drive Group. <clears throat> oh, maybe Unlimited Power Supply. Leaders of energy acquisition for over 300 years. Oh, it's us no all. Shielding your way into the future. New technologies for a new world. Not your average company. 
Oh, look, look. Okay, okay, okay. So I see they come with their own perks. A home of high caliber fun. Leaders of energy acquisition for over 300 years. Light years ahead. Oh, I don't know. Greater speed sounds kind of cool. Better radar, stronger shield, standard equipment. Not your average company. <laughs> standard equipment. Let's do Light greater speed, ahead. maybe. No, let's do stronger shielding. Your way into the future. <clears throat> let's do stronger shielding. New shielding your oh. way into the future. Not oh, you know what? Let's do... Okay, so all of these come with, like, weak and poor. Let's go with standard. Yeah, it has cons. I just saw that. Accessing file. One moment, please. A multilateral conglomerate with varied interests. Genericor is the only megacorp to abandon traditional business practices in favor of diversification. Okay. Accessing file. One this moment, is great. Please. Considered the early favorite in this year's competition, the creators of the Zephyr Craft lost their advantage when the craft's plans were stolen and sold to other competing companies. The theft and subsequent decline in stock value left Genericor unable to improve on their original design. They now enter this year's IBC with what is considered a standard battlecraft. Wow, okay. Shielding your way into the future. Accessing file. One moment, please. Once on the verge of complete failure, Vertic Shielding has returned to the IBC thanks to the introduction of Polar Star Shielding, the only shielding to successfully pass both phases of the Stanley test. Hey, bloody cactus! Welcome in. This is your average really cool. Now back to the action. <clears throat> Take it to him, Ace. Alright. I don't know how to do anything. <clears throat> Alright, this okay. The missiles. I think I died. The emergency eject sequence initiated. We gotta figure what out some controls here. The round's not over yet. Back we gotta go. figure out some controls. Oh, okay. All right, there's that. Oh, blew into something, I think. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Yeah. <clears throat> what does it remind me of?
It's a very cramped arena. It's hard to tell that I'm firing. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm firing. Battery up, okay. What's in the middle here? Oh, I go backwards. Get this guy off my tail. Emergency eject sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. This is rough. <clears throat> I think I got him. Terminated. Okay. I think I ran out of ammo? I'm unsure what just happened. You said, hold on, hover. Yeah, like, hover from Windows 95 hover? That little free demo game thing? Oh. How do I fail live? What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. How many lives do I have? Alright. Oh, alt is a different part. What am I calling? Oh, I think the play here is to fly backwards. Eject sequence initiated. <clears throat> what are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. So there's like two whole minutes. Okay, all right, hang on. We're gonna look at. We have to be able to revive patrols, right? Let's see what that does. No controls. Oh man, don't touch the mouse, holy shit. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. That isn't at all annoying. Music's real good, though. Oh, that was a lap? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Am I supposed to be going in circles here? Am I going backwards? Time has expired. Huh? The winner of this round is Ambush, flying for warp speed. I don't know, I didn't notice well, it. Well, that wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. Oh, this music is amazing.
This portion of the IBC is brought to you by Genericor and John's Jr., home of the flame broiled subsistence burger. Remember, if your kelp's being fried, you're being deprived. Welcome to round two of the IBC. Hello. Once the symbol of ultimate power, the Colossus of Yazadore lies in ruins, defeated by the desert. Today, <clears throat> we'll find out if our competitors can stand up to the same challenge as the IBC visits Kaor. We now go to Territorial Governor Bitor as he gives the competitors a few last-minute instructions. Also, to the champion of Kaor, I, Governor Bitor, will grant his company the excavation rights to the ruins of Teshulale and name them the official traders of all goods found within the city, as well as any natural deposits found beneath it. Thank you, and good luck. What a strange thing. That's a lucrative offer from Governor Bitor. I'm sure each of the participating companies would like to win it. And we'll see which one does after this short break. Please choose your corporate sponsor. Not your average company. Let's race. UPS ships have been spotted placing Astrocam recorders around our Terra Nova space dock. We do not take kindly to spies around this part of the galaxy. Destroy the red tank to collect your corporate bonus. Interesting. <clears throat> I see a map, but... Am I collecting or shooting the onks? It is chaos, yeah. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Oh, Back that's annoying. You go. Right? Oh shit! That's nitro. I don't know what the flags are for, though. Oh, I am stuck going forward. Let's never pick up Nitro again. Ow. Fucking hate Nitro. Emergency eject sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. I am shooting. I am shooting. Um, it's just, it's not obvious that I'm shooting, but I am. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. You see the very top of the screen up there on both sides of the, uh, the display thing? When they flash, that means I'm shooting and you can kind of see it on the walls. Yeah, it's not obvious. <sighs> Shields. Uh. 
Ah, these guys were like hounding me. Man, I had some really fucked up dreams last night. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Jack sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. I think I spawned inside of somebody. <clears throat> Whoops. That's the fucking Windows key. Why? Why is there an ult? God damn it. Stop. Dude, y'all are the worst. <sighs> are these other guys on my team? Am I just shooting the, the fucked up head things? Oh, that's why I kept speeding up. I really want the mouse to not be doing this. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. No, stop, mouse. Stop. Stop. The mouse is acting like a joystick. And I can't really control where it is. Like, it's a center that it needs to find. I think that the the little ones that look like me are on my team. But I don't know how I would know that. The emergency AJ sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. I don't know. They don't attack me, only the faces attack me though. You know? Time has expired. Also, five minutes is a long time. See, there's laps. I don't know which direction we're supposed to be going. The winner of this round is... Hermit, flying for New World. <clears throat> well, that wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. This portion of the IBC is brought to you by Genericor and Genesis Horizons, the terraforming specialists. Genesis Horizons, we hey, bring Jim. your world to life. Welcome to round three of the IBC. Who will win the rights to be the gatekeeper of space? We'll find out as our competitors battle it out at the spatial anomaly known as Wormhole 7AK. You game show space jockeys think you can just waltz in here and take away the wormhole from us? I don't think so. We secured Wormhole 7AK and we plan to keep control of it by any means possible. Possible? It looks like our pilots will be facing more challenges than they expected. Will they be up to it? We'll find out when we return. Please choose your current <clears throat> sponsor. Oh, Not possible. Your company. Possible. Now back to the action.
The hosting turn animation was really good, yeah. Sequence initiated. <coughs> what are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Yeah, it there's a there's something neat here, but man, it controls worse than you think. It controls way worse than you think. The emergency eject sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The Looking at the screenshots, I was kind of Back expecting it to be like a first person shooter, not an arena thing. Our team greater than the dev team, yeah. <laughs> the emergency eject sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Hey Rosie, how you doing? Good to see you. <clears throat> the emergency eject sequence in the This looks like a gym. What there. are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Can we pause? Okay. There is so much charm outside of the actual gameplay. Like, the menus and the animations and... Well, I won't really call it a story. Like, it's a set of arenas and they're like... There's like, a little bit of in-universe lore. Like, all of that stuff is gold. Like, so good. The music's great. <sighs> I just don't know if, if the gameplay... I don't know. I don't know. I... You can't change the controls. I wish I could. So right now, what the controls are, space bar to fire, alt to shoot missiles, control to go down, zero number pad to go up, forward and backwards are throttle, and left and right, arrow sticks. Can't change them to anything else. There might be other controls, I don't know. I can't look at them. I could look them up. Uh, but if you bump the mouse, it treats it like a joystick, so you get stuck moving forward or backwards or spinning until you can, like, move it until it's centered again. So I keep doing that by accident and just kind of screwing myself over. Also, it's very unclear what my actual objectives are, other than, like, shooting the three frames that something's in front of me. I don't know. It wasn't very clear, like, if, there w if this was team-based, individual pilots, because there's ships that are like mine, and then there's whatever that world has. But it doesn't seem like the ships that are like me are shooting at me. That I can tell. It is also very unclear when the when the player's actually shooting. You have to look at like little flashing like uh, bursts at the top of the screen from the guns. Uh, but there's no like lines or bullets or missiles going towards anything. So it's like it's like a hit scan. Like it just it shoots here and maybe it hits the wall or a ship in front of you and they explode. Uh, it's interesting so far. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, if this was... Uh, 
So like, okay, so see, these, these missiles you can see, but when I fire the main guns, you can't tell that I'm doing it unless you're looking up or you can see what the, what they're hitting, right? I think these actually got upgraded to some kind of flat cannon, because I do see them pop every once in a while. Uh, but it's not a true 60 OF either, right? It can just go up and down, so it's like a height adjustment. <clears throat> Emergency eject sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back and then every time you die, you get this. And apparently it's also a race? Apparently I'm supposed to go around, but I don't actually know what direction. It doesn't tell me what direction. I think everybody else is going the opposite direction. Maybe I'll try that. No, he followed me. I don't know. It's just kind of everybody's going everywhere, but there are flags. Oh, I picked up a new gun. This one actually looks kind of cool. this gun. So wait, hang on. That flag had a red border? Okay. It's red border on both sides. I was like, maybe one of them has a green border. Oh, we're going down. Looks like I can find some shield. Hit that shield. But wait till you see, wait till you see what happens between levels. It's really cool. Huh. Oh. Emergency agent sequence initiated. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. Strafing vertical aiming. Yeah. Yeah, not being able to aim up and down and having to like adjust the ship is rough. Also, I think throttle was the wrong way to go with it. The throttle is just like one too many buttons, you know? <clears throat> like if I could just move forward and backwards, like Doom, for example. With some like set it and forget it speed. What are you doing here? The round's not over yet. Back you go. I think that, hold on, I think that the red guys are not racing. They're just here. Emergency eject sequence initiated. I saw that what I just got lap here? number six. The round's not over yet. Back I think that go. they're just here to stop us from taking over the wormhole. Or, you know, whatever. Supercharge, okay. So maybe we should follow one of the ships that like me, the Zephyrs. <laughs> They're kind of just going wherever the fuck they want to. Okay, I saw that one shoot at me, so we are shooting the other settlers. <clears throat> Time has expired. All right, here we go. I think that the part in between the levels is way cooler than the actual gameplay, by like a long shot. The winner of this round is... Hunter, flying for Vertex. <clears throat> How did I do? Well, that oh. wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. I don't know what the NWGU 
This oh, this is the IBC is brought to you by Positronics, the home of high caliber fun and Subdermis bath bars. <laughs> Subdermis for that deep down feeling of clean. Welcome to round four of the IBC. Our next stop on the interplanetary battle circuit takes us to the work world of Argos Geo Global 6. Geo Global. And it appears that a civil war has broken out, but we won't let a little thing like that stop our coverage. <laughs> For more on the situation on Argos, we go to the military governor, Commodore Clem. Oh. You're still coming here? You must be crazy. Don't you know we've got a, a war going on down here? If you can help us rid ourselves of the rebels, I'm sure the Geo Global Company will give you controlling interest of the planet. But you have to hurry. They've broken through our defenses. And now for the weather. Well, it looks like we've lost our transmission from Argos. But that won't stop us from bringing you all the coverage of this round of the IBC. We'll be right back. Okay, that... <clears throat> I said the stuff in between the levels was awesome, but that one took the cake. That was a super what-the-fuck. Amazing. Maybe... Shielding your way into the future. Shields are the best. Computers weak. Weapons are good. Poor battery. New technologies for a new Also, world. also, there's like full-on descriptions of these companies. Which is cool. Accessing file. One moment, please. New World Computing Zephyrcraft features the latest update of their JVC 630 tracking system. Tied into the craft's radar system, the 630 allows its pilot to see all objects, stationary or moving. I mean, like that would help at all. Accessing file. One moment, please. Introduced over a century ago, New World Computing's Vector Tracking Radar System remains the industry standard. Maybe we go with like... Of high caliber fun. Accessing file. One moment, please. Positronics has removed the GC720 and replaced it with their own PTX00 Pulse Cannon. The PTX00 draws more power directly from the ship's power core, giving it a terrific punch. We'll just listen to the rest of these, and then we'll go on an ad break, and then we'll play a couple more levels. Also equipped with the TX1138 missiles, Positronics Craft carries the heaviest firepower on the circuit. Accessing file. One moment, please. System online. Positronics yeah, it does kind of sound like her. Supplier of armaments to the galaxy's armed forces. The company I love this, like, like <laughs> the, of the most powerful and love accurate it. particle beam weapons in the industry. Leaders of energy acquisition for over 300 ye light years ahead. Accessing file. One moment, please. Warp Speed Drive's Zephyrcraft features the latest update of their XP-13. They now enter this year's IBC with the first warp drive capable of reaching warp 13. Ooh. Accessing file. One moment, please. Warp Speed Drive's the producers of the first warp drive to be mated to an Earth vessel continues to break the barriers of space travel by introducing the first warp drive capable of reaching warp 13. Alright, I'll let the ad go. I'm going to the restroom. Actually, I'm going to do that and grab the mail. Um, and then, we'll play a couple more levels. I'm not... I want to see the rest of the story here. Like, just not really story. I want to see more of it, but the gameplay is... It's just not really fun. It's not grabbing me at all. I, I wish, wish it would, would though. though. Hey, hey Sir Spamasone. Are, Are you here? hearing? <laughs> um, here, wait. You guys like that sound? I can do it one more time. I'm gonna go back and listen to that and like probably shriek and cry an embarrassment.
and I don't want to like get weird and objectify her and say, oh, young, young Roberta is so much hotter than old Roberta, right? It's not that kind of stream, really. You know what I really, really would love to have? Not gonna lie. I would love to have my bubble. This is seriously so strange. I have my camera turned off today because I was I was trying to make it to where everyone could see the screen a little bit more, but you guys might get a kick out of this. So this is my evening. This is this is my compatriot, my streaming buddy. Uh her name is Mishka. Hi. You gonna talk to everybody? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh no. Um, they changed the rules based on what the big name streamers are um are doing. Like I swear they literally have to watch them and be like, alright, gotta make an exception. <laughs> Can you imagine if Twitch go, right, that's it. No more lewd toilet based humor. And then they see what Flurry's clip of him being like, I've got a toilet as a gun. And they're like, okay, we'll make an exception for this. Uh, Twitch banned me from drinks rooms without a shirt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, too funny. Oh, my God. I am crying with laughter. It's so funny. The washroom warrior lore intensifies. It certainly does, Dee. Yeah, I'm sure he's been in a few silly horror films in the 80s and 90s. That's quite possible. <sighs> What is that? An interesting drink. <laughs> oh my god. Tupasati. Or the equivalent. Electrical tape. Uh, we're getting a dollar store LED flashlight, and we're taking a paper tube. I took um, a toilet roll, cut it down the middle, and then shaped it around, squeezed it around the um, the flashlight to get the the um, circumference, and then paper, and then put that in here and then paper mache measured took that thing back out paper mache the crap out of it sprayed it over uh those are these are these are sink those are these are dish cleaning two one kobe wasn't that attached which well, probably split like that because i have it bigger than the normal screen would be next time oh so they're talking about a sequel did not expect to beat that an hour in the stream that level was Look at that, and I can't even reload. I have to start a new character. Come watch this. Look how many coins I got. Oh. <laughs> nice. yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna let those go. Here we go. This was what I was talking about. So, up above us, in the little cluster that we were in, the little 16 by 16 square, it was dishing out reasonable people that we can handle. This is probably not a reasonable group that we can handle, and the game is probably just going to kill us. Um, and Final Fantasy 2 doesn't care about that, it just wants to grind you into the dirt and kill you. So, there you go. Here is our first Final Fantasy 2 thing where it's just like, yeah, have some cursed aid. <laughs> you know? Yep. Oh, 
Final Fantasy 2, everyone. I can't be bargained with. I can't be reasoned with. I don't feel pity or remorse or fear. And I absolutely will not stop, ever, until Skynet rules this world. <laughs> Wood smoke sounds more much nicer town than plastic smoke. Oh yeah, for sure plastic smoke would not sound plastic good. Smoke. <laughs> okay. I'm back. That, that, uh, that should take care of the echo. Going into the scene does not disable one of the other mics that I had turned on. Yeah. All right. I actually got something in the mail. We're gonna look at. What is this? That's wrong. This one. Oh, this one's for me. Final. I don't think it's the full order. Oh, it might be. Alright. Alright. There we go. There we go. There's the hoodie. I think we ended up getting, uh, yeah, extra large. Look at it. It seems wide and short, but pretty nice. Yeah. It's that save cover, the, uh, the official team. I went ahead and grabbed the industrial waste version of it. Still waiting on the one from Safe. Um, the regular. Oh, there you go. Industrial waste burnt orange. Uh, with actually, I made this logo uh, for Safe. We needed one in all black. So I did some modifying of their logo with their permission, of course. <clears throat> Nice to be able to work with a with the company, but yeah, there you go. That's the the beautiful burnt orange version of the shirt. It's one of those for me and one for my wife. Neat. I'm still waiting on the coffee cup. Yeah, this thing's nice. This thing's nice. Nice soft inside too. I always hate putting like I always wear zip up stuff because beard hair just becomes a mess. Always seems like the neck holes are just too fucking small on these. Know what I mean? Uh, Shielding your home. Let's go with weapon. <clears throat> let's try it. We're back and we're ready to race. <clears throat> oh, seven's not bad. We will settle for victory. Nothing less. The music in this is real good. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's been 10 seconds and I forgot all the controls. I think you can blow up pickups.
This gun is more satisfying. Yeah, you can blow up pickups. I think that's a oh no, it's people with ri rifles. Interesting. <clears throat> We made it, we made it like a little bit there. <laughs> You're talking about Hover? The bumper car game? Or Hellbender? Because both of those came with win. Oh, are you thinking of Deadly Tide? There were a couple games that came with Windows 95 as demos. Because Hellbender and Hover were both on the disc. I can't remember if Deadly Tide actually was or not. Hover, yeah, Hover's cool. Um, that's actually available online now. There's an updated version. It's like a simple little thing. Um, 2016, maybe? That you can play it in a browser now? Yeah. They had a cute commercial for it. Am I doing laps? I don't even know. I'm going clockwise. <laughs> yeah, hover was cool. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Oh, you get a different voice line. Depending on your... Why am I hung up here? Depending on your sponsor. Sequence initiated. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. I'm just tap firing both now. Fill them out of missiles. Am I getting laughed? I keep forgetting to look up when I pass by things. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. How would I know? There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Leech ammo.
eject sequence initiated. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Yeah, just keep going in the direction they, they let me go in. Rosie, did you ever play Monster Truck Madness as well back in the day? That might have also come with Windows 95. Why? Why can't I move? Every once in a while it just lets me not move. Why? Yeah, Monster Truck Madness was awesome. I really enjoyed no early departure from riding around in that world. Get back to the battle. I was pretty indifferent about the racing, but I enjoyed, like, doing my own fun. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the lure. All right, let's we'll see if we did better. I got 59 enemies, damn. Four laps, I think. I don't know which direction to go the for the race. This round is Hunter flying for Vertex. Damn, see, I thought I was doing okay. Well, oh. that wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. I might switch it over to easy. See if we can just, like, get a victory Universal screen. Universal Broadcasting Network proudly presents the IBC. Brought to you by Genericor, not your average company. And Journeyman Work Specialties, the official supplier of hand tools to the IBC. Welcome to round five of the IBC. Even if the weather forecast calls for rain, it won't dampen our spirits because we're live in Eden and ready for IBC action. Best known for its giant trees, the planet Eden is quickly becoming a pharmaceutical leader. For more on that, we go to the Tier of Eden. Madam Tier, if you please. The land of my people contains many plants that are known to cure many of the galaxy's diseases. We offer these resources from our rainforest to the competitor who claims victory among the gardens of Eden. Thank you, Madam Tear, for that generous offer. We'll return with more coverage of the IBC on Eden right after this. Please choose your corporate. Sponsor. It's really interesting how they <clears throat> um, offer things. Oh, Words oh. are hard. Of high caliber fun. If you're ready for action, so are we. Positronics operatives have intercepted transmissions linking Vertex to the theft of the prototype VT53 personal pocket protector. Retaliate <laughs> with extreme prejudice. Personal Throw pocket protecting. Collect your corporate bonus. Oh, look at the waterfalls and stuff back there. This is uh, hard to differentiate anything. Anything no early departure from this competition. All. Get back to the battle. We're gonna put it down on. Oh, interesting. You can't change. Okay, not mid match. Well, okay, that makes sense. But I thought I saw it here earlier. Let's just remove the floor. I wonder what low and floor off. Interesting. <clears throat> Does it actually make it easier to see? I don't think... I don't think low and high detail do anything.
Weird. Sequence initiated. That was actually no early departure from this competition. Get back to the a pretty battle. decent death scene crashing into the thing like that. Going counterclockwise around this one, hoping to get some laps. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Ooh, a frame rate. <laughs> Lap. Okay, it's counterclockwise on this one. Sequence initiated. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. The Maxi Gun, it's called. Okay, I can skip it with the escape key. <laughs> It's hard to tell there's someone behind me. I, maybe it's on the radar. There will be no early departure from this competition. But they uh they light you up just as quick as you light other people up, you know? This game is a mess. Emergency 
ZZ jet sequence initiated. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. I feel like the rounds are just a little too long as well. I think that the only ones I need to shoot are the other Zephyrs. Everything else is just in my way. That's start what I'm starting to, to think I see here. They're just bonus points or whatever. But the Zephyrs seem to have a bit more da uh, armor. Time has expired. So I didn't get any of the other racers. Um, I was green. There's my score. Okay, we did last. The winner of this round is D-Day, flying for New World. <clears throat> well, that wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. This round of the Intergalactic Battle Circuit is brought to you by New World Computing and Genesis Horizons, the terraforming specialists. Genesis Horizons, we bring your world to life. Welcome to round six of the IBC. It looks like we're in store for a beautiful day. The sun is shining and it's a warm minus 10 degrees centigrade as the <laughs> IBC stops in Atoll. Now let's go to Anthony Simon as he officially welcomes our competitors to Atoll. The Kingsmith Company welcomes the competitors of the IBC to the frigid wastelands of the Vendlinger system. To assure that the competition on Atoll is at its best, Kingsmith has authorized me to present the winner of the Atoll competition with a contract naming them the exclusive space trucking agency for all Kingsmith products. Thanks. If somebody wins all of these, they're going to be real fucking busy. Or let Thank commerce will come Simon. to a standstill. As our competitors tend to their last minute <clears throat> preparations, let's pause for these very important messages. Please choose your corporate sponsor. All right, we need to, we're going to focus. We're going to focus on the silver ships and pretty much ignore you're ready for else. action, so are we. I don't even think doing <clears throat> laps is important. We're just going to focus now on silver ships. Tolerate failure. What does that mean? What did I do? <laughs> Good. I'm real glad at the moment. I'm like, I'm gonna focus down on these ships. They became impossible to see. Damn, they are hard to hit, though. I think I... Then, no. <laughs> hey, Misty's Power. Welcome in. Oh, the color always was bad back in the day. It wasn't no made for the kind of monitors we're using today, that's for sure. Get back to the battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this would look a lot better on a real CRT. I promise you that. I was just feeling lazy today. It's the only reason I'm using DOSBox over one of my uh, real hardware machines. <laughs> Unlike most DOS games, this one actually has the ability to control its frame rate in the menu. Uh, 
Ah, you fucker. I don't think I've managed to get one of them yet. No way to check the score either. Remind you of a game you played that was discolored? Due to compatibility issues. Oh, man. I haven't been. I don't think I've been able to take down any of those. Jet sequence initiated. Um, other there zappers. will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Everything else doesn't go up and down. These guys are extra hard to hit. Down yet. There will be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Okay, so they are the only things that show up on the map. <sighs> I'm not sure what color I am. Why am I? I can't do it. Yeah, this game, there's a lot wrong with it. There's a lot of cool stuff in it, but it is just not fun to play. That's <laughs> Bob Racing. Hey, Maglev. <laughs> Be no early departure from this competition. Get back to the battle. Did I get one? Obliter- Okay, I got one, finally. Emergency eject sequence initiated. There will be no early departure. Expired. I think that was the last match for me. 
I got two. I got two. That whole round. The winner of this round is Hermit flying for Genericor. That's a huge score difference. Well, that wraps it up from here. Until next time, this is Rex Sweeney signing off. Deadlock 2, really? I feel like I looked into Deadlock 1 or 2 on Steam at one point and and discovered that it was like one of the of worst the games ever made or something like that. It's a great game. Speed drive. Yeah, I don't and I only know that about it. Airlines, <clears throat> we bring the universe to you. It's like Welcome Deadlock Wizard Wars or something like that. Our competitors trade outer space for inner space. Maybe I'm Panamar confusing with something else. This stop of the IBC. We now go to the High Lord Panamus as he officially opens this round of competition. The High Lord is pleased to have the IBC on his planet and to show huh. his gratitude. He will allow the winner of the Panama Not the game I'm thinking of then. to work the gem mounds of Altar for 3 months. Once again, the High Lord <gasps> thanks the competitors and wishes each of them good luck. With that kind of incentive, it looks like this will be one of our most competitive rounds. Who will triumph in Panama's aquatic realm? We'll find out after this. Please choose your corporate sponsor. Oh, I hope I can get out of this. Not your average company. Oh, yeah. You're I guess. ready for action. So are we. <clears throat> I think that was enough for me. Oh. Uh, there's some, I don't know, there's a neat game in there, but the actual gameplay in it is not, not that neat, which is a bummer, because I was looking at the screenshots and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I'm all over this, but I love the in-between missions, but you can only do that once, right? You'll hear all the stories once. I wonder how many missions there actually are. There's the manual. The manual probably would have been helpful on this. <clears throat> Try playing it with... You have to go up and down, too. You know? Deadlock is the game you were talking about. Shrine Wars. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. <clears throat> I thought... Or is it Warlock? Steam, can I help you? <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? That wasn't just on my end. I don't know. I feel like Shrine Wars was the one I was thinking of. I don't know. I just remember there being some really bad reviews on it at one point. This looks cool. Probably, yeah. Well, it only had 53 reviews. That's the weird part.
Yeah, I mean, like I said, I must have had it confused with something else. 2014. I mean, it would have been about the right time. Would have been about the right time. Maybe it was like people being nasty in the hub. That 2014 was before Steam reviews. Yeah, but it wasn't on Steam. And they don't have a date on this page. Oh man, you remember when, when this was like on the front page? <clears throat> Showing the community? To be fair, this here was the best Steam sale that ever happened. The summer camp, they have not done a better Steam sale than this one. This is the one that had a whole bunch of games. Um, this had a whole bunch of games that you could do things and earn achievements in the games and then win digital prizes for those games and win free games. Like you could get a special car and test drive unlimited too. Um, it was either this one or 2012. <clears throat> But we haven't had a, a like a Steam event sale that cool ever since, uh, which is which is a bummer. User reviews, two thousand thirteen. Okay. You know. Hmm. Where did I just see 2013? Where did I just see that? Was it in the... Ch Where was that? It was here on this page somewhere. Because <laughs> it says 98 there. I don't know. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> there's so many, there's so many games on Steam that don't support Windows 10 and up. And I couldn't tell you why. Maybe I was just looking at the review dates. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, anyways. All right. So I'm done with Zephyr. Zephyr, we did our hour. We did our hour. We gave it a fair shake. Um, shit, what do we do now? Let's, uh... Sports bad marketing, though. Uh, let's, uh, let's switch over to the extra stream. Um, and we'll work on this bed we made. And then we'll maybe knock it out before dinner, and then I can maybe eat dinner. <clears throat> Better overload or descent? Hmm. I'm not set up for either of those here. Yeah, I I wish I wish that Steam would still work on XP desperately, desperately, because. I have so many XP machines and building building more for you know the quad land, but like there's so many Windows XP games on Steam that don't run on Windows 10 correctly at all. Um, and I just want to be able to download them on my XP machines. That's the only thing I want internet connection on for. Uh, and there's no way around it. And there's no point in supporting it because it's me that wants it. I think I if, there's probably 10 of us that would like to have Steam on Windows XP. 
yeah, all I want, all I need, I don't need any of the other bullshit features. All I need is this. <clears throat> I mean, I like all these features for modern stuff. Tons of people want it. They should be a hell of a lot louder. All I want is this for XP. I don't need shit else. There you go. Minimal steam. Oh, cool. Forbidden West is finally coming out for peace. Great, great. I want to buy that. This is it. This is all you need. You don't need shit else. I mean, I take a full client, but if I was just able to have, like, GOG Galaxy Mini, like you can put in, in Linux, I'd be happy. But all I need is to be able to right-click, install, double-click to launch, and I'm happy, you know? What do you mean? <clears throat> what do you mean, MacLad? Um, elaborate a little bit more. Um... I'll throw it out there. Any any XP game that doesn't work right on Windows 10 that I've tried, 98 in XP that I've tried on Linux with Proton, just works. That's the, that's, the thing, that's the thing that's fucked up, is that Steam's doing such a good job of making all these work in Linux. Um, but we can't have like an XP light client. Yeah, that would also make sense for you, Shanka. Also, welcome in. And Cherry Onion, great to see you. Sorry, I didn't greet both of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it'd just be offline. And let me log in to download the game. I don't need it for anything else. I don't want any of the community features on there, you know? I don't even want it connected to the internet. There's a lot of games on Steam that you can just copy over to an XP machine and they'll run. But not all of them. Not enough of them. <clears throat> um, great example of what I was just talking about, though. Uh, Steam Deck. I just installed Blood Omen 2 and Soul Reaver, and they worked. Even had, like, automatically mapped controller support. Um, no issues there. You know, those games have not gotten updates since, you know, 98 XP, right? Um, then I find more cases of that working than, than not in Linux. Yeah, it's technically fluid development. Hey, Dan Van Dam. Yeah, I'm just saying that there's there's a, a significant amount of older XP games that just work in Linux. In Proton, not Linux native. <clears throat> it's kind of a good deal, but yeah, I would really enjoy, uh, you know, using my old computers with the proper, you know, Pentium 3.4 CRT... Uh, graphics card that supports depreciated features, you know. Uh, example, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum has a special graphics mode for, like, one graphics card. It's like 8800 GT or something like that, uh, that modern cards don't support. I ran into that when I was playing through that. It was something I could toggle on. I don't remember if it was for, like, shadows or if it was, like, cape effects. Um, but you can't toggle it on on modern machines. You could, bef um, you know, in 2009 when that game came out. And it just wasn't wasn't going to run good because there was, like, one card that, that handled that right. Or one series of cards. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I never did look that up on, on PC Gaming Wiki, actually. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, you couldn't toggle that on on the Steam Deck. <clears throat> maybe, maybe they disabled the toggle. Actually, maybe they disabled the toggle when they, they updated some things.
Yeah, Gabe Newell probably. Yeah. Convert 360 to Epic Games. What the fuck? Converting Epic Steam to Epic Game Store. What? Why? Why are we doing that? Okay, hang on, hang on. Hardware accelerated physics TM. There's another, there's another option in here somewhere. I know it. Did you get a chance to check out Rage of Mages and Necromancer? I have not, no. Um, I have not. Sorry, I missed that. Hi, Dan, if I didn't say hi. Netflix learn what happens when you try to flex up against publishers. Uh, I'm not installing this game just to point at something in the menu. <laughs> physics not displayed. Cur yeah, so the physics thing broke. Um, because, you know, they removed legacy, but that's that's on the software level. <clears throat> Oh, it looks like you can add the play PS3 exclusive costumes or whatever it was. That's yeah, weird. I don't see it. I just can't remember which one it was. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, hold on. Uh, Arkham Asylum specs. Well, see, there was like an option for a special graphics card in Arkham Asylum. System requirements lab. Why would this be blocked? Six sixty. Was there was there was there a sixty eight hundred GPU as well? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Eighty, yeah, eighty-eight hundred plus. <clears throat> no, no, but it wasn't. It wasn't for a stereoscopic three D. I thought. I thought it was for like the hardware physics, or like cloth animation. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, I could have completely not remember that correctly. That's been the theme of today, anyways. That's definitely the numbers I remember. I thought it was for a different option. Interesting. I think that was in the other one. You mean a different Batman game? Interesting. Okay. Alright, it's 2 o'clock. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Hmm... Arkham Knight. Oh, the Arkham Knight was years after uh, the, <laughs> the 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 8800 was a GPU that would run things. That thing didn't even yeah, that didn't even, that didn't even run on on modern hardware. That that game launched pretty poorly if I recall. Um I think it's I think it's all fixed up now. I haven't gotten to it yet. I just finished Arkham Asylum finally like a year or two years ago. 
That was the first thing I did on my Steam Deck. Well, second thing. First thing was finally beat Need for Speed Undercover. Um, I'm trying. I'm debating right now whether uh, whether to just like dive into the extra stream and then let the dog sleep till my wife gets home. Because uh, he's been down for two hours, he could probably use the, the sleep. Let me let me check my SNR messages and make sure there isn't some kind of work I need to do real quick. Um. Uh. Sorry, give me just one second here. Yeah, okay. I did say that. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, let's let's do that. We'll just we'll just dive into um, this bed we made, and if we get through that, you know, in a couple hours, because I don't think we have that much longer left in it, um, then we'll uh, maybe start Black Mesa tonight, or we'll see. Maybe maybe we'll finish this, and I'll take the rest of the night. I see we got ad starting here in a second. So what I need to do is I need to change microphones, and I need to change my my headset. So I'm going to have to restart OBS um, because of problems with USB. Um, so I'm just going to, we're just going to kill the stream. I'm going to make those changes and titles. Y'all just hang out. I'll be back live in like, give me a minute, minute and a half. And we should be good to go. Sound good? Great. All right. I'll be right back. 